Back. Welcome back to the Friday Night Prepper pre-party show. Happy Festivus, everybody. Happy Festivus. We are going to do a live unboxing of an order that I got from Atmex. And before we get into that, we're going to give people just a few seconds here to get through any kind of notifications or watch some ads. I always appreciate that if you watch ads. Uh, this is the Friday Night Prepper pre-party show. We're going to be talking about a couple things. Number one, how you can win this 1878 Morgan from me. All right. Uh, let me fix my camera here just a little bit, and then we'll come back to that. Hang, bear with me here just a second. Oh, it's not going to let me do it, is it? Darn it. Well, we had Baby Yoda helping us today. Hey, Wasatch Wizard. It's good to see you. Uh, so we'll just do the best we can. It's not, I'm having some trouble with camera adjustments today. Anyways, let's go right into it. I'm not going to waste your time. Pentucky, Pentucky Survivalist, good to see you. Thank you, everybody, by the way, who sent me messages uh, and sent me little, you know, funny things through DMs, things like that to cheer me up this week. Uh, most of you who are regulars on the channel know that we had to let our dog cross over the Rainbow Bridge on uh, Monday. Uh, she was getting older. Ray was getting older. Some of you have been with me for a long time. You've seen her in videos in the past. She was our hurricane rescue dog. And she, you know, she was starting to have some breathing problems and some other issues. She had pretty much gone completely deaf in the last couple months. And on over the weekend, she developed a pretty bad cough. So uh, Mrs. Sarge brought her to the vet on Monday and they did some x-rays and unfortunately it was time. Uh, we had to, had to let her go. So I really appreciate everybody that reached out and sent me kind messages. Uh, it really helped us to get through the week. We are, we're doing okay. Of course, we you know, wish this didn't happen at Christmas time or, or at all really, but we kind of knew it was coming. So that helped a little bit. And uh, you know, we're just, just getting through. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. Um, it's not gonna be the last family uh, pet family member that we adopt, of course. Um, but right now, we're just trying to get through the holidays and and uh, heal a little bit. So let's talk about this. Uh, hey, Scorpion. Hey, Cold War Prepper. It's good to see you both. Appreciate you. Let's talk about this coin. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I've already talked about it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um. Yeah, they we they only bless us. They only get to be in our lives for a short period of time, unfortunately, and so we really need to value that time and make the best of it. All right. So for those of you who have been following on this giveaway, the the ending of this is coming up on I think it's next Friday. Let me just double check that date for you real quick. Yeah, the thirtieth on the live stream on the thirtieth. I'll do the drawing. Now, if you haven't already watched the video, this one here. That's where I talk about what you need to do, but I'm going to make it really easy for you right now. You should check on that and go into the pinned comment. It's going to give you the rules. There's a lot of rules, such as this is not a affiliated with YouTube or Facebook or anybody else. You have to be, this is my coin that I'm giving away. It's not a sponsored giveaway. Uh, you need to be 18 plus, and I need to be able to mail it to you in the continental U.S., Okay in the, uh, the 48 states that are part of the continental U.S., okay? I've talked about this before. I don't want to go into it too much right now, but it's just super expensive for me to try to ship overseas or even outside the continental U.S., and there's a lot of really weird laws about shipping money to certain parts of the world. So, unfortunately, this one is limited to that, uh, but... Um, There'll be, you know, if you're if you're upset because you're not eligible for this one, just stay subscribed because there's going to be more giveaways in the future. Just kind of keep your eye out for it. This one here, the rules, you're going to click on that video there. Make sure you check that, and then uh, it'll tell you all the rules information. And then I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to make this really easy for everybody. So then you're going to go over to Facebook, all right, and you're going to look up Prepping with Sarge YouTube channel, Facebook page. That's what it looks like, okay? Then you're going to scroll all the way down to November 25th. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Because a lot of people are doing this wrong, and unfortunately, if you do it wrong, you're not going to be eligible. I'm sorry. I have to I have to be a stickler for this. Uh, if, you, if you do it wrong, I can't include you. So go all the way down to November 25th. I'm going to show you the post that you're looking for. And I'll try to make this as clear as possible because I don't want anybody to have thought that they were entered and they weren't. All right. Bear with me. I know I'm getting close. 
That's November 20... There it is. Okay, this is what you want. November 25th, on the Facebook page, it says, I can't believe I did this, right? So then you're gonna go down here into the comments, okay? And, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not completely signed in. And then you're gonna go into the comments and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna do, hang on. <laughs> sorry, it's hard to do, hard to do this from behind the camera. You're gonna do hashtag prepping with Sarge, okay? so. What I'm finding is that there's only about 15 or, or so, maybe 17 people that have done this correctly. A lot of people have done it um, on different posts with the hashtag or without the hashtag. You have to be on this post here. I can't believe I did this November 25th on the Facebook page and you have to have hashtag prepping with Sarge somewhere in there, okay? If you don't do it the right way, I am very, very sorry. It's not gonna count, all right? All right, that's the last thing. This is what you're this is what you're playing for is this 1878 Morgan. I'll give you one more look at it and then we'll start to go into the unboxing. All right. How's everybody doing on Festivus? Who's is anybody doing feats of strength or airing of grievances with your family? Uh, it's a fun little holiday. In fact, after I get off this live stream, I'm going to be going over to um, uh, Mrs. Arge and I are going to be watching uh, the first of us episode of Seinfeld, which is where that comes from. If you're not a Seinfeld fan, you might not have known that. All right, so we got a little box here from our friends at Atmax. Now I am an Atmax affiliate. So uh, I'm gonna drop that link right here in the chat. If, you, uh, if you're watching this afterwards, it'll also be in the comments. And uh, this is my affiliate link. If you use this, you're gonna get the same prices as if you didn't but you're gonna help me out and I get a little commission for this if you buy something. All right, so I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box. Give me just a second. Today we're gonna to use the old uh, Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, this is a nice little knife. As you can see, I've definitely given this thing some work. It actually needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You can see down here, I gotta do a little bit of work on that and it actually needs a little bit of a sharpening, but it's gonna be fine for tonight. Thank you, uh, Pentucky. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, so, as I'm opening this up, spank my hand. I think you, I told you I ordered my AC for my granddaughter. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. If you, if you uh, order any more, just kind of consider it. I appreciate that. And also I do encourage people to support their, oh man, they packed this thing tight. All right. I do encourage people to also support your local coin shops. Uh, I buy plenty, that 1878 one, that Morgan came from the, my local coin shop. I just like Atmex because I've been using them for years. There we go. <laughs> been using them, so it's packed really nice inside there too. I've been using them for years. I, you'll always get exactly what you ordered. You're always gonna get really good prices. Uh, and honestly, I hate to say this, but most of the time Atmex beats the local coin shops in my experience. Now, somebody's gonna say my local coin shop has better prices, it might, but I've been to coin shops all over the United States and I don't see that too often that they're able to beat Atmex. So do it, support your local coin shop too because it's a good thing to do. We always like to, I run a small local business, my way, Mrs. Sarge owns a small local business. So we, we do like when people support local businesses, but if you're looking to do an order, Atmex is gonna give you what you want and you're gonna get a really good price. And uh, yeah, and I do recommend you order more than 200 at a time because uh, you'll get a discount on shipping usually. Sometimes they have to raise that depending on what's going on in the world. All right, so uh, Atmex might do a military discount too. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that, Lee. All right, I'm gonna have to put my gloves on for some of these, so. And I'll, I'll take them out. They're, they come in packages like this, but I'm gonna take them out because I like to I like to store my coins like that. All right. All right. So make sure you glove up. Hey Steve, good to see you. <laughs> glove up when you're uh, handling silver that's not in protective casing. <laughs> All right, just like going through TSA. <laughs> uh, so the first one I got here, I got a little piece of gold. This is a 10th ounce. Yeah, it's gonna be fun doing this without with the gloves on. All right, so this is a 10th ounce. 
and this is a Philharmonic. Okay, this is the Austrian Philharmonic. Now for 2022, these are all 2022s, I believe, when I ordered these. For 2022, I believe that for gold, the Austrian Philharmonics was the best prices that I'm seeing so far. So that is a 10th ounce of gold, and we're definitely gonna put it in one of these like little containers here to give it some protection. That's a 10th ounce. So that's this one here, that's a quarter ounce just to, well, actually, no, wait a minute. This is a quarter ounce to kind of give you an idea of the size difference. Hey, Jay's, good to see you. No worries, no worries. Um, so that's a quarter ounce, this is a 10th ounce. All right, so that's one. And like I said, these are these should all be 2022s. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uncle, I, I think I missed a comment in there. I think I'm missing the context of what you're saying. All right. Now, next one we got, what did I get? Uh, is this Bhutan? Yeah. Kingdom of Bhutan. And these are all 2022s. These are all newer, newer coins that were just released recently. And I'm getting ready to do another uh, 2023s. I'm sorry. I've been saying 2022s. These are all 2023s. Uh, I'm getting ready to do another order pretty soon, and I will. Um, I'll walk you guys through that when I do that. So you all excited for Christmas? Anybody doing anything special this weekend? Anybody got in-laws coming in or anything like that? All right. This is the Somalia. Is this Somalia? Yep. Somali Republic. 2023s. That actually is a really pretty coin. Look at that proof finish. Whew. And yeah, beautiful elephant. All right. Next up. Gold and silver. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's we're we're gonna have a day sometime in the future. This is this is why one of the reasons why I stack. Uh, we're gonna have a day sometime in the future where uh, the U.S. dollar is not the preferred currency for the world. I think you know we we can't sit at the top of the pile forever. Now, when is that gonna happen? I can't tell you. I mean, this is you know your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but this is the silver Philharmonic. So basically, I'll show you with the gold here. Same coin, um, just one silver, one's gold. Right. Actually, that would have been a good thumbnail right there. All 2023s. Starting to build my 2023 stack. And what I do is, if you could see, is I fill these tubes by year. Right, so, and then when I've got it full, it goes off-site. I have a vault off-site. Um, so I only keep a little bit of my stack at the house for security purposes, and then I've got a much more secure place where, uh, where when one of these tubes gets filled, that's where they go. All right, next one. And what you're hearing in the background is just me kind of opening up all these little packets that they come in. They are packaged really nice by Atmex. That's one thing they do fantastic with. All right. And that's going to be one of the last of the coins with the Queen's image. They're all going to be changing. That's the Britannia. That's the 2023 Britannia got issued right before she passed away. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worth more than any, you know, another, uh, you know, any other silver coin this year. It's just, you know, collectors might be interested in it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be more worth more than any other coin here that you're seeing here. That's, they're all about an ounce of silver. Hey, Bacon, it's good to see you. My McNuggets, that's right. That's right. So when the U.S. dollar is no longer the reserve currency, I can pay for, for my McNuggets with an ounce of silver because that's about what it's going to cost at the going rates of, these, of the inflation right now. All right, got, I think, two more here, folks. And then uh, you can just kind of hang out and talk if you want. All right, that's the Chinese panda. Uh, I, I, what I do, part of my stacking strategy is every year 
I get uh, a couple coins, a couple of the, the current year, this is the 2023s, for all of the major countries that produce silver coins, okay? And then I get extras of like the Canadian Leafs, and I get extras of the American Eagles, of course, and I used to get extras of the Mexican Libertads, but they're, the, they've really gouged the um, premiums on the Libertads, so I, I pretty much have stopped stacking those at this point. I'm not paying, you know, twice as much as as uh, American Eagle for a one ounce of silver. It's ridiculous. All right, and then which one's this? What do we got? Uh, oh, Cambodia. And now I've, I don't think I've ever purchased Cambodian silver before. That's that's a new one for me. I don't know if they've made it before, um, but I saw this when I was doing my Atmex order, and I thought, oh, let's add that to the stack. Let's cl clouded leopard. That's pretty cool. That's a cool image. So when I did this order, the American Eagles weren't out yet. Now I believe they are out. So I'll go through and I'll show you these again. I feel like, hang on one second. I just wanna check my list here. Yeah, six, six silver, one gold. So I'll go through these with you again. So this is the, uh, the Kingdom of Bhutan. Look at how intricate that design is there, that crest. And so what I do is I order one from, uh, or a couple from each of the major countries that produce silver. Yeah, I hear you, Steve. You got to watch those premiums for sure. And then I I'll, I'll, I'll stack extras for the Eagles and the, the Leafs. And then periodically when I do go to my local, uh, my local guy, that's when I pick up things like the Morgans because they'll usually have like a loose pile of these and I like to sort through them and try to find decent quality or... Um, Sometimes I'll get some of these. You get some constitutional half dollars, um, things like that. Right? There's the Kennedy half. And sometimes I'll get other stuff at my local dealer, like the War Nickels, things like that. Those got a little bit of silver in them. Or sometimes I'll get, I don't know, something a little older like that. Right, get the idea. So, I, so I do support my local dealer too. And then I've got, you know, I'm working on a tube here of, uh, I think these are Roosevelt dimes, and these are Barber dimes. I'm working on a tube of those, and I got a full tube here of Mercury dimes. That's got to go into the vault. And then I've got some pre sixty five quarters. All that stuff is what I usually get from my local. Local guy, pre-65 quarters have some silver in them, right? Um, and then again, this is what I got from the App Max here. We got the Panda. Yeah, I love Barbers, man. I, I, I love all the old coins. I got some Peace Dollars here too. I'll show you those in a second. And that's the Philharmonics. Now again, the Philharmonics, if you're looking for just weight for ounces of gold or silver, um, those tend to be pretty good prices. Now, of course, if you're just wanting weight, you might actually even be better off to do uh, like bars or something like that. Personally, I like, I, I, I stick to uh, sovereign coins that have uh, recognizable currency for, um, you know, like this is, this says, what, how many euros? 1.5 euros on there. So it's it's actual currency, but it's also silver. So it has value in a couple different ways. Look at that. It's already got a milk spot. Darn it. No, that's not caused by Atmex, by the way. That's mint. That's create that's caused when they're um, minting the coins. And last year it was the Canadian coins that had a lot of that. And this is the Britannia. Now Britannia's been killing it with their coins lately. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a little security mark there. See where my thumb is? That little trident in there. Love the Britannias. And then again, this was the last one here was the um, Somali elephant with the mirror, pol mirror polished proof finish. All right. So yeah, I got some peace dollars here. I'll show you these. And actually, I'd like to pick up some more of these for my local guy. And what's your opinion here? So this is the peace dollar. And this is the Morgan dollar. 
Which one do you like better? Which design do you like better? I like the Morgans myself. They're they're actually my favorite coin. Yeah. But if I see a decent quality peace dollar, it's in good condition. I'm not going to turn it away, that's for sure. Morgans. I'll show you since you're here and we're hanging out, I'll show you a couple other things here. That's the Seated Liberty, uh, 1854. That's probably my oldest coin that I have. It's obviously, it's it's pretty slick. It's it's worn out. I love Mercury Dimes too. Yeah, those are greatly. So that's the uh, Seated Liberty. I'd like to get one that's in better condition at some point. And uh, what else do I got here? If you had to rely on personal Premium, which I would tarnish really mad. No. Uh, no, no, no. In, in a situation like that where things have gotten really bad and you're now looking at silver and gold as like a reset or you're changing over to a different currency or something like that, it's not going to matter that much. The tarnish matters like if I'm trying to sell that to a collectible. So let's see, where is that? Uh, was it this one? Yeah. So so that milk spot down there, right, down in the lower left corner where that you're seeing, that wouldn't matter in terms of if I'm selling this for the weight in silver or if I'm trading to a different currency, right? That doesn't matter for that. This That matters if I'm trading to a collector who's looking for the best quality coins. Then it does, you know, reduce the value for that, right? I appreciate that. Thank you, D-Man. Appreciate that. So then you got, this was one of last year's gold Britannias. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And they really, I mean, the Britannia Mint is the is just killing it the last few years. Just amazing stuff that's coming out of there. All right. I think I got a Canadian in here. Let me see if I can find that one for you. There we go. So there's the gold, gold leaf, the Canadian gold maple leaf. And gold for the last year was at a phenomenal price. I don't know how long it's going to stay there. So... If you're in a position where you've got the means to do it, just consider the fact that I think most of us that are in this don't think it's going to stay at the price that it's at forever. Uh, and, and actually, I would say not much longer. But of course, I'm not financial advice. My channel's for entertainment purposes only. Do your own due diligent research. I'm not responsible if you spend money and you lose it. Uh, all, all, And I do consider it part of investing. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Steve. Like they would, t especially gold, because gold's such a soft metal. You could actually take a knife and like cut off little pieces of it, and you keep saving those little pieces, and then you could melt that into a nugget or a bar. Uh, and that was what was happening uh, in the, you know, especially in the 1800s. But yeah, I, I do consider gold and silver as part of my investment portfolio. It's not the only investment. I like passive dividend uh, income producing stocks. I like Fortune 500 companies. I do a little bit of investing in tech and crypto. Crypto is in a really bad place right now. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if crypto is going to recover. To be honest with you, uh, it's in such a bad place. And there, and there, and there's a targeted effort to get people to not trust crypto as well. So that's that's not helping. Um, but it's one, it's silver and gold is one of my investments and uh, I do consider it, uh, a lot of people say you should not consider it an investment, you should consider it a store of wealth. Well, it can be both. And my thought on this is like, I'm not selling most of this unless I had an emergency. That's, you know, then I could, of course, uh, I'm not going to, um, trade it unless, you know, there's something that I really wanted and somebody wanted, for example, what I have, maybe. Um, this is all like part of my retirement plan, you know, that I, in my retirement, either I will, if I have to, I'll sell it off in chunks and preferably at that point, the price of silver and gold will be significantly higher than it is right now, preferably. Um, or if I don't, then, uh, my stepdaughter will inherit it, you know? So it doesn't really, you know, there's a lot, I, I like to collect a lot of things. I like to collect knives, as you know. Uh, and, uh, there's other stuff that I like to collect. I, I have more than I need in flashlights and things like that. But, uh, this here, like it's never, it's in my mind, 
again, not financial advice. In my mind, it's never a bad investment uh, because at the minimum, it'll be something that will go to my stepdaughter. That's the worst case scenario. All right, guys. Well, we're going to start to wind this one down. It's kind of a short one tonight, but like I said, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> like I said, the uh, wife and I are going to be watching uh, Festivus Seinfeld episode tonight. So uh, I hope you all are doing good. Thank you, everybody, for popping in. I really appreciate you all. I really do. And believe me, the, the messages that you sent to uh, Mrs. Sarge and I this week really helped us out. It really kept our spirits going and it meant a lot. So it's, uh, I won't forget that. Appreciate you all so much. Really would like to see somebody from that's a regular in the audience. Uh, I was trying to use Inflex Seal to keep it shiny. <laughs> uh, I, I need to clean that one up. That uh, I really want to see somebody win this that is a regular on our channel. Uh, but you got to make sure you're entering the right way. So if you missed the beginning of this video, definitely check that out because I explained it again. Some people think that they've entered the right way, but you didn't. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to count it. So check that. Make sure you're on that. Go to that Facebook Prepping with Sarge YouTube channel page. Go all the way down to November 25th. The post starts with, I can't believe I did this. And make sure in there, make a, in that post, make a comment that says hashtag prepping with Sarge. All right. We'll do this drawing next Friday on the live stream. So you'll need to have entered by, um, oh, what did I say in the rules? I think it was midnight the night before or, or midnight um, of that Friday. All right. You all stay safe. Like Steve said, I really appreciate you. Also, make sure you are checking out Bacon's stream later on. He usually goes live on Friday. I'm going to drop his link right here. I'm going to try to drop Bacon's link right here. There he goes. Incoming. Um, yeah, the because, well, DM50, the reason for that is that they... Um, <laughs> I'm reading your comments, guys. The reason for that is the uh, the U.S. Mint hasn't done, hasn't bought a lot of uh, silver blanks um, for the last couple of years, so their premiums are much higher than, say, for example, the Philharmonics. Or last year, the Britannias were a very were one of the best prices for an ounce of silver. Uh, so it really depends on how much the mint, how much each mint purchases for blanks each year. So. Anyways, I hope you all have a great Festivus. Have a great Christmas. Uh, I really appreciate everybody. Make sure if you're going to do that contest, go back and check. Make sure you did it the right way. And have a great weekend. Hug, most important, this is the message for today. Uh, if you've got pets, if you've got fur babies at home, hug them. Make sure you, you tell them how much you love them. Uh, you know, if, they, if uh, you celebrate the holidays in your house, do something nice for the pets too. They can tell that something special is going on. They may not understand it the same way that a human does, but they do know that like people are excited and, and uh, Ray really loved Christmas. She loved getting presents. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, do something special for your pets and uh, just know that you all meant a lot to me and all the nice messages you sent. I really appreciate it. Have a great Christmas. Have a great Festivus tonight and keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge and Grogu, otherwise known as the Child Baby Yoda. Take care, y'all. <laughs>